Hi guys, in today's video I want to show you how to build your storm shield defences for the Devil Amplifier from the north. If you saw my previous video, I covered the west. So what we're going to do, we're going to get straight into it. And what we need to do is select our metal and start building our floor plan in. Wait for the meteor to go off. There we go. And now by placing those two extra pieces, that's now going to move the meteor back to just about here and get that out of the way of the tunnel so we don't have any problems with that it's going to be a similar concept from the uh, as we did from the west where we're going to build in sort of these timeout chambers as we like to call them and we're going to do like a, a two-sided setup this time we're going to use three on this side and we're going to use two on this side okay we're also going to build a tunnel that's going to run along the back there which helps it doesn't really get used much so we don't have to trap it out extensively and we're going to put a cover over the top on this section here to try and get the husks to just come down these tunnels opposed to walking through this ridge area here so also we're going to continue to build along here put the outskirts in first of all like so now we're going to put a middle wall all the way down to there okay now we can start putting in the roof like so come to the other side all the way down like that put a wall there put a wall there and a wall there okay right again like we've done on there where we've got the quarter lips or the quarter wall pieces there we're going to do the same here one two three four and then zigzag for the end and on the other side we'll do the same one two three zigzag the rest of it like so right now that we've done that what we need to do here is place some stoppers Ooh. there we go to about there in the wall along pyramids up facing northwest okay if you wanted to and we could save structures actually by just doing that will help as well otherwise you've got to start putting walls all the way down like that as well which will just end up wasting structures right now that we've done that you have to leave now I wouldn't place a wall or a floor should I say here okay because the husks do have to walk up onto this area here as soon as you place that they can't get up there anymore so you might get a propane come up and bash this away or you just end up having them all bashed at this for a while but it's the propanes that you don't want to come up here because of the aoe damage could cause a, a, quite a lot of the tunnel itself to blow out so we're going to do that like so now on here we're going to cover that up like that this one as well and this one and this one okay right so so far let's have a look let's get up there that's what it looks like so far okay right we're going to put a roof on this section here now we'll go up again on this one oh, I'll actually come round well, I should just go straight like that reason why I'm coming across this far is because there is the odd spawn that can sometimes occur here 
we don't want them to think that they can just walk straight over the top sort of thing like that way there so we're going to put a roof on it here as well that roof will extend all the way along like this so I noticed how that didn't actually destroy anything because we're actually three blocks high anything that's three blocks high the, the actual meteor won't damage anything we'll just put an extra two here like so all right now once this storm shield goes out I would recommend that you actually put a wall along there just a, just a single layer wall will be fine it's to stop all the flingers thinking they can work their way around the back and also we've actually started building out here in the past so I'm just going to finish this off now put two of those there like so come along like that we'll put two pyramids facing northeast in there We'll put a wall and a wall. I uh, can't put a wall there. I was going to say you can't put a wall there. Uh, we'll put a roof on top and then a pyramid just to close it off. We'll leave it open for now so that we can upgrade later. Right. So that should be plenty there. We'll upgrade that later on in the, uh, this video. Right, we'll continue finishing this off. So we'll go all the way down to the back on this one. And then put the wall in this side. Right, that's what it's going to look like. We'll put a couple of walls here. And we'll put a couple of ceilings up here. This will contain the ceiling electric fields. But I doubt very much anything's going to get through there. Okay, we're only putting these structures in place so that if and when the time comes and you need it you can just throw those up straight away no problem okay now through here all the way across the back here we'll put scene electric fields we'll put gas along here and we'll put some ceiling electric fields at the back there and possibly some um, zappo maxes or wall dynamos along here with some sound walls so that the propanes drop their bottles okay these two will have electric fields the same with that one and then we can just put uh, a gas electric field gas and that'll probably be enough to go down there we'll probably only have to really sort of trap out halfway maybe to about here but that'll be fine right so that already is your basic build for your devil north okay now i would probably you might get some lobbers when I walk around the back there because you haven't put the wall in there. So what I would suggest you do, just for now, is put those three pieces in there which will help prevent anything coming around. And then you can do the same for there all the way around. But we can't really get to it at the moment. We can't get over there. If you do want to get outside the storm shield and build, I'll put a video uh, link in my description of this video showing you how to get outside the storm shield. But you'll have to do it with a friend. You won't be able to you'll have to get it so that your friend spawns in first and then comes outside and then does the building for you and everything like that and that's all explained in that video i won't go into it in this one okay right so this is now all ready to go and get upgraded trapped out etc this is what it's going to look like from the front okay stand there all right go see how it's just passed through that roof there with no damage come over the top have a look from here all right and then from the back all right now I wouldn't put anything on the cross here this is how they know they can get up here this is just to cover up here if you wanted to have some extra protection on say those two shouldn't be any more than that because it's those ones they're going to walk up to and want to try and attack all right so that just gives you some extra protection 
but it's going to be like I say there's going to be a lot of electric fields and gas in there so they probably won't even get that far all right the majority of them because you're going to be in here or sort of back here I wouldn't go too far forward because once you're in the tunnels too far forward you're going to cause problems with lovers and probably propanes and stuff like that so try and do your attacking work from back here sort of shooting across here shooting across there and because you're standing here you're going to pull the majority of the husks if not all of them anyway to your general location all right so, so that's all done one final look from above that should be fair enough all good right i'm going to upgrade all this and when i come back to you i'll show you how to trap it out okay so on three, one, two, three, and, and there we go. Just like that. Right, okay, now let's see what we gotta do. Right, on these last two, I would recommend we put a tar pit on the last two only, okay? The rest of these floors in here can be wooden floor spikes, we'll just go for the 144 crits, we'll do the same in this tunnel, okay, we'll put the retractable floor spikes in these three, we'll do the same in these two, we'll put darts facing the wall launchers that I'll place shortly, we don't put broadsides facing wall launchers because of the impact. I've explained this in almost every other video, so I'm not going to bore you with that again. Okay. Now here we'll put a mixture. We'll put a broadside, a broadside, and a broadside. We'll then do the same. We'll just use durability this time. There. There. And there, we'll do the same there and there. We'll put a broadside there and there. We'll put a ceiling electric field. In fact, no, because we're going to have ceiling electric fields and gas all the way down here. So we'll put a zapper there. We'll put a zapper there. Same here. And on those two there, okay. Right. Now what we're going to do is we'll put two electric fields here, and then we'll do the same here. We can put a lead that one for gas, so we'll go like that and like that. All right. Now that electric field will then obviously work from there as they're walking up here. They'll get zapped from there, no problem. So we'll end up going with the gas there, gas there. And if you wanted a gas there, I wouldn't go any further than that, that'd be fine. Okay, now we could then go across the floor with wooden floor spikes here. And on the final one, we'll put another one there. And if you wanted to, we could just put a final kill box here with a zapper on the ceiling like so. On this wall here, we'll put a wooden... No, we won't go anything like that. We'll just go with a sound wall. We'll go with a sound wall with double... Double reload speed, durability and heal. We'll go with that one there. We'll then put one there as well. We could do the same here and here. Right, and then what we'll do here, we'll also have to put a couple of sand walls down here as well. So we might as well start and put a couple like do that. And we'll do the same. And there, okay. Now what we can do is, in fact, you know what? Watch this. We'll put. We'll do that, okay? We can also do the same on this one as well. 
Okay, right. Now, what I want to do is... I'm going to place... the sound walls on this wall, either side. Okay. Which will, will allow us to put... I want to put wall darts on those two. Like that. Right, now what we can do is we can put the sound walls on these and the darts will pass through the sound walls and these holes in the walls themselves okay so we're going to get double the impact or not so much impact but double the damage as such okay impact probably the long or the wrong word to use on that one so we're going to put double reload speed and heal on this side and on this side we are going to put a double impact and increase on these two okay and then we'll put the heal. We could even go for effect duration. Might go with effect duration. What we got here a double reload speed durability and effect duration on that one. Okay. This one here, we can put. I'm going to put a wall dart there and we'll put a electric field there or electric field a zappo match should I say or wall dynamo whichever one you've got we'll put another one there there and there okay right on these ones across the back and down the side as I explained earlier We'll put the electric fields all the way down there, like so. We can put another one there. And then we'll put gas all the way down here. Okay. Looking good so far. Right, so we're going to stagger gas and gas there we'll put another gas there this one gas there turn around and we're gonna go with electric field electric field and that will be the electric field there the same for this side this one like so Right, again, I'm only going to leave these blank. I'm going to leave them like that. So if you do need to put electric fields on at the time, you can do, all right? But it won't for now. On here, we'll leave that like that. Now we've gone for sound wall and sound wall there. Now we could go with a further sound wall with electric field. Electric field, what am I talking about? We can go with another sound wall and effect duration there. And then we'll put a... Zappo Max there, a Zappo Max, Zappo Max, Zappo Max, and then we'll stagger and mix it up with broadside, broadside, broadside. We can put a final because that'll go off at three blocks. Is a wooden a a wall dart? Should I say? We can put a wall dart on there. And then for the final kill, we'll go with another wall dart there, another wall dart there. Okay, that should be plenty. Right, let's just go through this quickly. Uh, we need to put our now, these are all one block in, so you won't need to go too harsh on impact and knockback with the wall launchers we're just going to go with a uh, 1x which is the one impact and knockback the rest is reload speed and durability we'll put them on those three there 
we'll come across the other side and we'll do the last two here these two here what we got we'll go with a we'll go with a zappo max on this one and a broadside this side okay right and for the finale we'll put tires all the way along here like so up here we'll put a mixture of now we could probably put a gap there gap there and then there we go nice little mix up all right let's have a quick run through of this so we go through this way first of all because if anything you're going to be standing here if anything comes down here but if you're standing over here I'd say a majority of it would all come from this way because it's all about posi a player positioning and where you're standing is where you'll attract most of the husks and enemies too all right now we'll go through here like so is what it looks like from the spawn okay come through so we've been trapped out and then we'll come back through here quickly perfect right that's all been upgraded now once this storm shield goes out now if you notice here look husks can walk through there there's nothing we can do about that other than the fact of once this storm shield has gone out you can put another wall there against that rock face and then if you were to sort of stand this way you can put one that's going to then touch that wall face there which will block them from getting around there and like I said earlier once this storm shield's gone out far enough you can put a wall there and there or across here okay or if you're outside of the storm shield or a friend goes out the sign goes outside of the storm shield for you you can put one there okay so that's that there's your devil north complete there it is from above Okay. If you found this video interesting, please like and subscribe, and please consider using my supporter creator code Sevens Up, as you can see there. If you're on Discord, please consider joining our Discord server STW Central. The link will be in the description and bolted onto the end of the video as normal. All right, guys, have fun, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.